What's going on you guys, it's Robson here, and as you so often do, you smash the like goal that I set for you guys. I mentioned that if you got 25 likes on my last video by the time I went to sleep tonight, that I'd be uploading a new video for you, and I just checked the video, it has 41 likes and literally zero dislikes. So again, that's absolutely incredible, and a huge thank you to those of you who do actually leave feedback and likes on the video, because it does help me out a lot, and obviously I wanted to follow through and give you guys another video tonight like I promised. So in today's video, or in this video today, you're not going to be seeing too much, it's a few more dailies that I managed to knock out because as I mentioned in the last video, I didn't get to play really at all this weekend. So I had a few extra daily challenges saved up that I wanted to go ahead and get done. And this one was a fletching challenge. I had to create 75 bronze arrows. So uh, basically I just mined some copper and made myself some uh, some bronze bars. And then I fletched some normal arrowheads and I added the uh, the feathers that I got from those chickens. And then I got the, uh, the fletching challenge complete. I managed to get, I think, four or five fletching levels. I got to level eight fletching from completing that task. And I also got a dragon bone from the, uh, the little reward goodie bag, so that one was, uh, I guess, more useful than a rune bar because I buried it and got to three prayer as well. Then when the game tick reset, I had another daily, which was to create five attack potions, and when I completed the Druidic Witch Ritual quest, I actually got 15 Grimy Guams and 15 Eye of Newts, so I hadn't made them into potions yet. I just decided to go ahead and do that when I got the daily challenge today, and as you can see, I got myself 12 Herbler levels from completing that challenge. I think I also got one or two while doing the challenge and making the actual attack potions. That got me all the way to 17 Herblers. So that was pretty cool. That was just a huge boost to the Herblore skill, and I basically got to skip the monotony of having to just make attack potions for the first, like, 30 levels. I got straight from, like, level 2 to level 17 from that daily, so that was pretty epic. And then there was another one for uh, farming a Marigold, and I thought I'd have to wait for it to grow, but as you can see, all I had to do there was plant the seed, and I completed the challenge, which was pretty cool, but the downside was I only got 75 XP for a daily challenge reward, which was really, really depressing, because I figured I would get a lot more than that. Uh, most of the challenges get between 600 and 700 XP, so I got actually super compost from a daily or from a, a squeal of fortune spin a few days ago i think it was like five super compost so i was like hey i shouldn't even have to repeat this one i'll be able to plant the marigolds and i'll get from like four to like 20 farming for free but um for some reason, I only got 75 farming XP for completion of that challenge, so uh, that was kind of depressing, but I still got one farming level from that, so I guess I can't really complain. It was uh, pretty much just a free daily challenge and a free 75 XP in the farming skill. Then from there, I decided to move slightly towards, I guess, what you would consider PVM on the account, because uh, there's have, there's been a huge lack of PVM and uh, all that kind of stuff. I really, as I mentioned, wanted to get into Slayer, and I definitely want to go ahead and get the Bone Crusher before I start slaying, so what I'm doing in the meantime for PVM is trying to camp one of the mountains trolls on death plateau named Kraka. I, uh, I know that this is uh, something that a lot of people say is not worth doing, at least until I definitely have a higher magic level, but it's one of the Death Plateau guards, the other one's named P-Hat, and uh, they both have some pretty decent drops that are worth actually trying to camp while at Death Plateau, and the reason I'm killing Kraka is because he drops three items that I'd like to get. One of them is a Rune Warhammer, which would be a really handy weapon for Slayer before I have the ability to go kill cockroaches or fire giants to get a scimitar. A Rune Warhammer would be really useful, and um, then in addition to that, it also drops a Granite Shield, which would be a great shield upgrade since I literally currently have no shields. Uh, that'd be a great one for I think level 50 defense. And the final thing that you can get from Kraka that I really want or that would be useful for me is the adamant hatchet so that obviously will be helpful because I currently just have the um, the one the steel hatchet which is currently a part of the dwarven army axe so an adamant hatchet would be a huge upgrade and I'd be able to use that to get some valuable fire making wood cutting and fletching XP until I can go kill like some iron dragons or something to get a rune hatchet so I'm gonna be killing Kraka until I can hopefully get one or all three of those items um, at least one of them I really like to get the hatchet and then uh, in the meantime I could also get some other decent stuff like each kill is a big bone for prayer experience I've also also gotten one steel plate body and the amount of kills that I've already gotten and there's a few other things as well so you'll probably see a few of these clips of me killing this or maybe trying to get the fairy tale part one quest done so I can go kill tree spirits to try and get a rune hatchet as well you'll just see some random pvm clips of higher level monsters like this in the future but um yeah I thought I would just fill you guys in on what I've been doing tonight I had to get 15 agility to cross the thing to get to death plateau so that's why you saw me earlier in the video just running those laps really quickly I think it only took me like 15 or 20 minutes to get from level 1 to level 15 agility so so that wasn't too big a deal. I considered going to the Gnome Agility Stronghold course because I'm pretty sure that's a little bit faster than the uh, the normal course in Birthorp, but I wasn't too bothered by it. It probably would have taken me more time to travel there than it would have taken to just get from 1 to 15. So I got 15 on the Agility course in Birthorp, then ran straight over, and as you can see, I found a nice little safe spot 
Although I did mess up the safe spot a few times and I took too, too much damage. But there are a few different safe spots. Nothing else on Death Plateau is aggressive uh, naturally. So I just get Kraka and then uh, I stand in the spot and I lure him and then I kill him. It takes a really long time to get kills. I splash mostly. But I'm getting some decent magic XP out of it. And I'm also getting hopefully eventually one or most of those drops that I wanted. So I'm wrap up the video again here, guys. You'll probably see more of these clips in the next few days. And uh, yeah, again, thanks a lot for watching. 25 likes. We'll get the next video out. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow.